beer with uh, Joe from Tallgrass Brewery, drinking some 8-Bit, playing some video games. Joe, what's the connection here between 8-Bit and the beer? Well, all right, so the idea behind 8-Bit, we took, uh, like 8-Bit video games, are rather simple, yet addicting. You keep coming back for more when you're playing them. You're like, yeah, this is great. Where our beer, 8-Bit, is a rather simple pale ale. It's hop forward, low malt, it's simplistic, but you just want to keep drinking more and more of it. So we're gonna like, well, and that, and then you know, a drunken afternoon playing video games. We're like, we should call this beer 8-Bit. So it all kind of came together after that. So how many people get confused and think that you're out of New York? Uh, about one out of 10 people kind of come up to it and they're like, oh, from uh, New York? I'm like, ah, oh, nah, Kansas, you know. Not quite as exciting as the, the East Coast, but uh, it's a fun little town. Do you think there's an inferiority complex? Do you have to work harder because you're confused for Manhattan? No inferiority complex whatsoever. We're proud of the little apple and uh, we're proud of the beer we make. So, uh, yeah, you know, yeah. Thanks, Joe. Thank you, guys, yeah. Great Cape So one of the beers that I'm really happy about to have here is our Islay Wee Heavy. It's a, um, a Scotch ale, a Wee Heavy, that I aged in a Laphroaig Scotch cask for about six months. So it's a giant 500 liter cask that we got in from Scotland and aged the beer in that. It's, it's just a really complex beer, lots of like dark, dark fruits, lots of toffee. Just a fantastic beer, in my opinion. So, so who'd you have to pay off to get that cask over here? I, I can't reveal my secrets. <laughs> I, I go through a barrel broker that's a, a good friend of mine. So, yeah. so aside from the scotch taste, how does that affect the taste of the beer? Um, I mean, you get a little bit of scotch, but it was used, it, it, it aged scotch for probably about 30 years, and then uh, sherry previous to that for about 10 years. So you actually get some of that flavor too. Um, with age, it's about a year old now, so you're gonna get some slight oxidative notes, but it just helps the beer develop and age when it's that big. Um, like I said, the, the toffee, the uh, darker fruits, like the stone fruits, that type stuff starts coming out over time, and with, with that type barrel. So. so what other beers did you bring out today? Um, on the opposite end of the spectrum, we have a uh, double cherry Saison, which is, uh, Saison's gonna be a light farmhouse ale, very you know crisp, refreshing that I um, used cherry puree in and then aged it in a uh, wine barrel with whole cherries. So it's, it, it's a fairly subtle cherry flavor, but it's, it's almost like uh, pie cherries, but very drinkable beer, um, yeah, very refreshing. So do you guys have a common thread with your beers or some inspiration? Um, like for me, I really like barrel aging and I do like Belgian beers quite a bit, but you know, we try to do the whole spectrum of things and just, you know, whenever inspiration strikes and uh, take advantage of it. Court Avenue is the oldest brew pub in Des Moines. Um, it's been there for about 16 years now. Um, I've been brewing there for about two years. Uh, it's a seven barrel system, so roughly 250 gallon batches um, at a time. It's a brew pub, so you know we, we have great food there. And our primary focus is taking care of our bar top. We do some small accounts around town, but it's mostly just for our, uh, our brewery there, brew pub. So what's your favorite thing on the menu? Oh, wow. It changes. I, I'm really, uh, I, I really like a Reuben. We've got a great Reuben there. So that's what I would recommend if you go there, to do that. Great, thank you. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Tell us who you are, where you're from. Uh, Mason Groban with Madhouse Brewing Company in Newton, Iowa. Great. So tell us about some of these beers you got. You got a uh, we nice got a whiskey aged? We got a bunch of good beers here today. Uh, we got seven beers. A couple special ones we have is uh, we have our Iowa Hops IPA, which is made with 100% Iowa-grown hops. Uh, one of the Madhouse investors 
has a hop yard in Newton, Iowa, and he has an acre of hops, grows Cascade and Centennial, and every year we make what we call Iowa Hops IPA, comes out around the holiday times, and uh, yeah, 100% Iowa grown hops in that. Uh, and then another one we have, using the kind of local tie-in, is we have a, a barley wine that we age in Cedar Ridge whiskey barrels. Uh, we get barrels from them that they put single malt whiskey in. We put our barley wine in there, age it for about eight months, and then uh, that came out just over the holidays uh, as well, and it's a really awesome beer. So you had a honey pilsner as well. What's the difference between that and a mead? Uh, good question. So uh, a mead is pretty much 100% honey fermented. This, uh, it's maybe about mostly malt is that you're going to get your sugars. Maybe about 5% of the uh, fermentable sugars come from the honey. So I think usually uh, it's classified a mead when at least 50% of the fermentable sugars come from honey. So All right, Great. So what's your favorite beer out here? Oh, that, I, that we have here? Um, you know, I really like our Hot Burst IPA. It's kind of our flagship beer um, year-round. It's kind of our best-selling beer. Uh, just a real citrusy West Coast style IPA. That's what I've been sipping on today. Right, great, thank you. All right, thanks. We really enjoy the Madhouse Brewery. They, these guys have been the best consistency of beer the whole place, and they're very friendly too. Great house people. So we're here with a brand new brewery, Big Grove. Tell us about yourself, you guys are just started. Yeah, we opened in uh, at the very end of August of last year. Uh, we have a small three and a half barrel brew house, seven barrel fermenters, uh, and then we have a 150 seat restaurant uh, that is pretty much getting all of our beer right now uh, with what is probably an overly qualified kitchen of very, very talented people. Um, yeah, and it's a little brewery up in Solon, so. So what's your favorite beer that you guys are making right now? You know, I drink a lot of IPA. I'm very happy with where our IPA is, but my uh, my favorite has been the Berliner Weiss. It's low alcohol, it's tart, it's refreshing. You know, if you're gonna be drinking all day, it's a good place to go, so. So this quesera, you let it ferment by itself. Is that you guys just being lazy? Yes, no, a little bit. No, it's, I would say it's, uh, it's a little bit of uh, old world spontaneous fermentation. It's a little bit of new world, uh, you know, brewing technique. So basically, we just allow it to do its thing, allow the pH to drop naturally, and uh, then we'll boil it, ferment it out, carbonate it, and drink it. Um, so you know, it's a little bit of both. There's not to say that I'm not taking advantage of it, but I am, uh, I am, uh, you know, happy that we're doing it. So. So what direction do you guys plan to go in the future? More hops, more aggressive styles. Uh, we want to start adding uh, more multiple strain beers and more. Uh, more acid ales, but also branch out into uh, more traditional styles as we move into the West Coast scene. So that, that's the direction that we're, we're definitely looking. So. so why should people come see your, your restaurant and bar? Solon is a blast. I, no joke, it's just got the right vibe of people who just really like to sit and, and enjoy good beer. But not only that, they enjoy the good food. And then, uh, you know, the people who own Big Grove, uh, the Swifts, uh, I have never met people who know more about showing everybody a good time every day. It is the most impressive thing I have ever seen. There's something about the vibe that just makes me want to sit there and, and just hang out and watch people and, and uh, watch people enjoying themselves. So they're very good at it. Great. Wish you guys the best of luck. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Jason, tell us about yourself. Hi, uh, my name is Jake Simmons. I'm the uh, founder and brewmaster at Back Pocket Brewing. So I hear you guys have excited, some exciting equipment in there. Uh, yeah, we put in a pretty state-of-the-art German brew house. It's um, pretty much as nice as you can buy. We kind of wanted to make sure if we were going to make beer here, we would uh, basically create no obstacles to making the best beer that we could. And the Germans are uh, kind of our experts in beer making equipment. So we went to them and uh, brought it over from, uh, from overseas. So what, what other developments do you guys have going on down there? Um, we have, uh, <laughs> we just got a bunch of new tanks, so we're going to be making more beers. Um, we have a bunch of new styles that are coming out. 
we're starting to do 22 ounce bottles of uh, barrel aged beers and uh, our next one's probably going to be a ray gun it's a, it's a double ipa so new styles new beers new packaging so what's your favorite ray gun shirt <laughs> i have to like the ray gun beer shirt that they made for us of course we collaborated with them to go ahead and then make a beer called ray gun and it uses galaxy hops so the same hops that you know um they go by ray gun so galaxy hops ray gun just made a natural you know reason to go and talk with them about collaborating and and they actually did our label for us so it was kind of a fun little project to do at the t-shirt shop sounds like you guys are keeping busy how'd you manage to get a uh burr fest right in your backyard well i founded it so <laughs> when you when you start something you get to choose where you put it and i chose to put it in my backyard but it actually made perfect sense because this space here is an indoor space that can hold a lot of people wide open plenty of, of room for people to spread out and uh Perfect for a winter beer fest. So on a nice cold day like today, what's your go-to beer? Um, I would have to go with the winter warmer. Um, you know, it's kind of spiced. Some of those warming spices, cinnamon, clove, ginger, nutmeg. Um, not normally a spicy beer guy, but on a cold day, makes a lot of sense. All right, great, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Tell us about yourself and your brewery. All right, uh, my name is Debbie and I'm the distribution manager for Bent River Brewing Company. We're located uh, in the Quad Cities, just about 45 minutes east from here. So how long have you guys been around? Um, well, the original location started in 1998 in Moline and that's where uh, we still are brewing beer and we have a brew pub there. Then we opened our second location in Rock Island, Illinois in May of 2012 as our distribution center and that's where our bottling line and the majority of our beer that goes out for distribution is made. So what kind of beer do you guys have? Um, our most popular beer that we sell, a flagship ale, is our Uncommon. It's a coffee-infused oatmeal stout and uh, we sell, brew and sell twice as much of that beer versus anything else. Um, we also have one of our new seasonals, a shutout porter, an imperial IPA, and we're serving a raspberry wheat as well as a jalapeno pepper ale, both very popular. So what's your favorite? My personal favorite um, is uh, probably the Uncommon Stout, just like everybody else. I'm a huge coffee drinker. I'm also a big stout drinker, and the combination of the two is a beautiful thing. So if our flight got canceled in Moline, what would you find out at the Bent River Brewery? Um, always bustling with busy activity, really good above, you know, like above the bar tavern food. You know, and, um, you know, always at least nine of our beers on draft at any given time. So what's your favorite thing on the menu? My favorite thing on the menu? Um, well, we buy locally grown uh, beef, and so I always get, a, you know, a cheeseburger there. We serve them on pretzel buns, and it's one of my favorite places to get a cheeseburger in the Quad Cities, for sure. So what's the best part about working at a brewery? There are a lot of perks to working at a brewery. Um, just overall, like the community aspect of it, getting to meet other people and doing events like this, and overall just talking about and drinking really good craft beer. So how long have you guys been coming to the Burr Fest? Honestly, I don't know, several years. We were definitely here the last two or three. Um, but yeah, we're always excited to be up in the Coralville area because we have a lot of support here with the, the college and the bar scene up, up here in Iowa City. I'll let you get back to pouring so we don't leave these guys thirsty. Thanks for, thanks for all the help. We're here with Megan from Peace Tree. Tell us about your brewery. Yeah, we're um, located in Knoxville, Iowa. We've been around about four years now, and we're a 20 barrel brewery. We're producing about 3,000 barrels of beer per year. Have a nice uh, wide variety of lineup and just trying to make something interesting all the time. 
you guys have a restaurant attached to the brewery as well, right? Actually, we don't. We have a tap room. Um, and then we kind of made the decision to not serve food and focus on beer. But we let people order in uh, from all the local restaurants, which they really like a lot, too. So it saves us the hassle and gives some business to the other local businesses. So tell us about the uh, exciting beers you have today, the uh, Ice IPA. Yeah, today we brought um, our No Coast IPA is our new kind of American style IPA. And Joe did something really special this time. He froze it, um, but before he froze it, he actually put more hops in it. So it's very concentrated, very highly hopped, and then also a higher alcohol level. And just something kind of different and fun, especially for winter fest, you gotta do something cold. So how does that affect the flavor of the beer? Um, it just really intensifies it. You know, you're getting more of the hops, and so you're getting uh, super bitterness out of it, and then also that higher alcohol. And you guys have a firkin today, too. We do. Um, we do different kinds of firkins all the time. This one is our Hop Wrangler, which is our Belgian-style IPA. He dry hops it with citra, which is not normally a hop that we use in that beer, and then put it on the firkin so we've got the nice hand pump, which makes a real nice, smooth beer, a little less carbonation. So is that naturally carbonated, then? It is, yeah. Yep, nothing else is added to it, so it's just, you know, nice and not as much carbonation or bubbles as you normally have in our in our IPAs. So why should we come to Knoxville and check out your tap room? Well, you know, I think we get a lot of compliments that it's just a really um, interesting and unique place that you would find in central Iowa. Um, a lot of people expect to come to a small town and then they have like kind of this big city experience of really good beer, really interesting tap room. Uh, we do a lot of live music and there's always kind of something fun going on. You know, today we're lumberjacks. You never know what you're going to see when you come over. So do you have a lumberjack beer or what's the theme? No, we just try to do something fun for Winterfest. Um, the guys, you know, usually they'll sit around and drink beer, coffee in the morning and just say, hey, let's do something fun this year for Winterfest. And I think our guests always really enjoy it. So. So you're a lumberjack and that's okay. It's okay. It is. Yes. I wear women's clothes and go to bars <laughs> and it's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> You guys, first time at Burfest? Um, yep. It's actually my, my third. My first. This is my second time. So, are you guys enjoying the good craft beers here? Yes. Yes. Oh, yeah. What's your favorite so far? Oh, uh, you know, last year I discovered the Orange Scorpion, which is a Chef's in Black beer. This year, it's still, uh, it's still probably my favorite. Yep. I had, um, it was called a Raygun IPA with the Back Pocket Brewery. That was really good too. I really enjoyed that. I actually went for uh, the Sprecher's uh, Hard Root Beer, which was really amazing. Yeah, <laughs> nice and sweet. So you guys enjoying the uh, convention center and all of this? Yeah. It was a little warm at first, but some of, yeah, the, cool some of the doors have opened, so yeah. it's nice. Yeah, it's yeah. a great, great atmosphere. It's a great, great facility. So how far did you guys come to get here? I came from Chicago. Yeah. Yeah, yeah me too. Basically, live near each other. Oh, great. And actually, I live right down the street, so. <laughs> A few miles. Yeah, not too far. Yeah. So, you guys think you would come back? Oh, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. I'd come back. Absolutely. Yeah, it's definitely a great time to get together as friends. These guys come over and we hang out, so, yeah, we'll definitely do it again. Yeah. Good time. Great. Thank you, guys. Yeah, thank yeah. you. Thank you. Thank you. So tell us about yourself and your brewery. All right, uh, my name's John Martin, and I'm the brewer and owner of Confluence Brewing Company. We brew four beers year-round, and we, then we try to do about uh, you know 15 to 20 seasonals throughout the year. So what are the brews you brought, brought out today? Today we had our Des Moines IPA, Capital Gold Lager, Farmer John's, Multigrain Ale, uh, our Weather Beacon, um, Red, it's a Doppel Martin, so like a double Oktoberfest. Um, our Thomas Beck Black IPA, and then our Chewbacca Winter Bach. So is the multi-grain a healthy beer? <laughs> you know, I, I suppose it could be, but uh, basically it has uh, malted barley, malted wheat, malted rye, flaked corn, flaked oats, flaked wheat, and flaked barley. So, 
you're decided. keeping the farmers busy. That's right. <laughs> so what what uh, what's that confluence? Is there a tap room, a restaurant? What what's at the brewery? Mama Bowie! <laughs> We are a production facility, and so uh, you know we are there. We have a, like a warehouse space where we produce beer. We also have a tap room that seats uh, about 90. It holds 155. Uh, we have a deck that faces the Grays Lake Park area and uh, access to the bike trail. So, what's your favorite beer you have today? I would say the Des Moines IPA is uh, top of my list. There's penis. <laughs> the Oktoberfest is really good. Um, you know, our, our Mosaic IPA, we did a fresh hop beer this fall, last fall. So uh, those, uh, the Southside Citra, probably my top four. So if we're in Des Moines, why should we come by your tap room? Oh, it's a great time. You can try all of our beers. You can see the, the brewery. Um, as you walk in the front door, you kind of wonder if you're coming in the back door or, you know, the front door because our brewery is right there in front of you. And then you have to walk all the way to the back of the building to get to our tap room. So it's like a kind of a your own tour as you, you walk through the brewery. So what's the most challenging to brew that you that you make right now? Uh, the most challenging was our Bach last year, the, the Chewbacca, the first batch. We we had some trouble milling our grain and getting it to auger over to the, the grist mill or the grist hopper and uh, turned it into flour basically. So the first batch was sort of a mistake, but it was also, uh, you know, people loved it. So we brewed it again, tried to, to make it the same as last year, and I, I think we succeeded. So this is your guys' first time at Burfest? It's my third time, my son's first time. First time. So what do you guys think of the beers out here today? Uh, fantastic beer. Incredible. What's your favorite? That's a very difficult question I don't have an answer to. Um, O'Fallon Smoke is still my favorite. So what, what are you trying to introduce your son to? Which are, Is there a certain type of beer or beer culture or anything like that? Uh, my son is a lot more cultured, actually, than I am in beer. So I, it was a shared. It, it was a shared experience. It was all about the shared experience. So is there a certain type of beer you're trying to expose him to? Then uh, I'd like him to become more accustomed to IPAs personally. But who knows? That's uh, that's personal preference. So yeah. all right. So where are you guys from? Uh, Lisbon. Lisbon. So you guys drove out here for the beer fest? Absolutely. <laughs> so what's there to do in Lisbon? Where do you go to drink beer? Uh, Gwen's Restaurant is great for food. Uh, and Lost Highway is also great for uh, as far as drinks go, as far as bars. <laughs> Whitey's right there on Highway 30. <laughs> great for us old. Older generation. Yeah. All right, great. Thanks, guys. Thank you. So I visited at least 15 places. How about you? I think I hit about nine today. Didn't get to drink as much beer as I would like, but how about you? I've hit up every spot and been able to enjoy at least one beer from every place. So what's your favorite? My favorite is always either Potosi from Wisconsin yep. or an Iowa favorite from Des Moines, which is uh, over there, which is, is Granite City. The Confluence? Is that the Confluence beer or what is that? No, no, Granite City. Granite City beer. <laughs> They're one of the best beers ever, if you're looking for a non-hoppy IPA. So where are you from? Iowa City, born and raised. Where do you go to drink your beer? When I drink my beer, I drink my beer from Hy-Vee. All right. <laughs>